channel. It's Rixie Pixie, and who's ready for a huge Disney haul? Um, if you haven't seen my vlogs for the four days that I was in Disney, I have four four separate vlogs. They are all up now on my channel, so you can subscribe to my channel and you can check out all of my other videos. Um, and I'm gonna go in order by how what I bought and go that direction. So it's a long long haul. Um, so to start, um, didn't buy anything in Magic Kingdom because I have been to Magic Kingdom multiple times. Um, and I just, you know, I, I was trying to save my money for the next couple of days since I was going to be there for a while. But the second day, so day two, we went to Animal Kingdom and it was the first time I've ever been to Animal Kingdom. So I was so excited. And I got this really cool in Africa. Um, I got this really cool souvenir uh, drink cup mug thing, and it is so neat. Hopefully you guys can see the etching on it. It is really cool. And it is like a plastic kind of drink, and it comes with the lid and the straw. And I got a non-alcoholic uh, strawberry slushy thing in here. And the best part, the whole reason I got this is it has like an ocarina on here. So you can literally play this. I was playing it through the whole park, driving everybody crazy. Um, but it is super cool. So I picked that up. I also, in the dinosaur gift shop, the only place, even Magic Kingdom, I went through all the stores, the dinosaur gift shop in, in um, Animal Kingdom, I found this and this is the Peter Pan Vinylmation uh, figure and this is the combo pack with an exclusive Tinkerbell figurine. So of course the whole reason I bought it is because of the exclusive Tinkerbell um, but also you can get um, all of these characters in the box and I am dying for the angry Tinkerbell and I'm curious to see what this one is. Um, I have a feeling it's probably going to be Tiger Lily, um, maybe, who knows, um, but that's one of the characters that's not on the box, um, so, but yeah, I really want that one, and I will open this in a separate video, I'm going to do all of my blind boxes and um, blind bags in a separate video, so, I uh, got that, and we also, we donated to the Conservation Fund, at Animal Kingdom. So we got this 20th anniversary Disney Conservation Fund pin as a thank you for donating. Super cool. So that's going to go up on one of my lanyards. So those are from Animal Kingdom. Then we went to Downtown Disney because Animal Kingdom closed at like 5 o'clock. So we went to Downtown Disney and as soon as I saw this, my husband grabbed it, and he's like, we're getting it. Um, this is Figaro from Pinocchio, which is Geppetto's cat, and he is in a pumpkin for Halloween, and it's a Halloween Mickey pumpkin. Isn't that adorable? He is so soft and squishy, so we picked him up. He is too cute. I could not resist. I don't know. I don't think he, he might come out of the pumpkin. I don't know. I didn't even check. No, he is attached inside the pumpkin, so he doesn't come out, but he does have this really adorable little tail and he just sits in the pumpkin like that. He is so cute. And this is going to be out all year round because I can't resist it. He's so cute. There's not a lot of Disney cats. I love Disney cats. I wish there was more Disney cats. Um, and then we went into, there was a, um, oh, there was a Ghirardelli store on Downtown Disney, and they gave me a free chocolate mini, so I got that, and there was a superheroes store, which had nothing but superheroes, and it was mostly Avengers, um, I think it was all Avengers, it was like an entire Avengers store, um, so I picked up two things there. I got one of the Avengers Vinylmation figures, and it's got Captain America on one side, and Iron Man on the other, and these are the different 
Avengers Vinyl Nation figures that you can get in the box. And they all have they all have different rarities, so I have a really good chance of getting Thor, Hawkeye, Black Widow, or Captain America. All the rest of them are pretty hard to get. Um, Iron Man is 5 out of 24. I don't know if that's better or worse than 1 out of 6. I don't know. But these are limited release at the bottom. Limited release. So they only make so many of these and sell them for so long before they don't sell them anymore. So I had to pick this one up. Um, and then I got one of these collectible pin packs. They are Kawaii Art Collection Marvel pin packs. And each bag has five pins in it. So you don't get just one pin. So they're not cheap blind bags. Um, it's kind of like buying five blind bags in one because um, this does have five pins. And all the pins you can get are on the back. These are all the different characters. So I am way too excited. I really hope I can get um, Black Widow. That would be my favorite. But there's also Spider Girl and, um, oh God, I can't remember her name. I don't think that's Wonder Woman. I don't think it is. But yeah, they have Spider Girl on there, so I thought that was pretty cool. So I can't wait to open this. Of course, all the blind boxes I'll be doing in a separate video. Um, so that's everything from downtown Disney. Then I went crazy in Epcot, okay? Because when you go around the world in Epcot, they have the World Showcase, and you can start at Mexico and go around, or you can start at Canada and go around. Well, we started at Mexico, and we drank and we ate all over the world. And, of course, I had to get something from different places in the world. So... To start with that, um, oh, wait, at the beginning of Epcot, I forgot I got these. At the beginning of Epcot, um, there was a Coca-Cola place where you can try Coca-Cola from different parts of the world. So that was pretty cool. And they had these sitting on the counter, so I picked these up. They're just little keychains. Um, and this one is little foam ball, Tinkerbell, and it's all glittery. So I got Tinkerbell. And then I got a Cheshire Cat one because, of course, I love the kitties. So I got Cheshire Kitty. And then I got a Mike Wazowski one. And they had a Sully one as well. Is it focusing? I had They had a Sully one as well, which I really, really want to get next time I go. Um, because they were only 3 for $6 for these little guys. So I was really excited about that. So I figured I'd get three this time. Next time I go to Disney, I will pick up three more because they have a whole bunch of different ones. They're really cool. So I got those. Okay, now on to the actual Epcot. I got this. This is from Italy in Epcot, and it was made in Italy. So it's an Italian product, and it is really cool. Are you ready for this? Handmade in it in Italy and it is a cat ceramic mask container it is so beautiful they had a couple different colors um, I got the pink one because I love it it is adorable look at that detail isn't that beautiful absolutely gorgeous and the actual bottom is all decorated and it's all glittery and it is so pretty and of course it was made in Italy so it just has the made in Italy stamp on the back I had to have this they had little tiny ones as well they look like they could be like ring boxes um, but I had to get the big one it is gorgeous no idea what I'm gonna put in it if I put anything in it at all um, but I absolutely love this. This is beautiful. So I had to pick that up. Then we get to the food. I have to try, I have, on my bucket list, I have to try candy from every country in the world. I have to. That's my goal in life. Try candy from every country in the world. So I picked up quite a few snacks. I don't know if I have this separated. Okay. So this bag is from a couple different countries. This bag is from Japan. You can tell I love Japan. Japan is my favorite place in Epcot. 
So that's going to be after I do this. Um, this bag is full of candy from Mexico, France. Uh, let's see where else I got candy from. I think I got candy from New Zealand or Norway. I don't know. But anyway, so I got this lollipop thing. It is from Mexico and it is a tamarind candy pop. So it's made out of tamarind, which I love tamarind. So I'm super excited to try this because I've never had this pops lollipop thing before. And I couldn't tell you the name of it because the wrapper is all like, you know, can't really read it. But there will be a separate taste testing video on all the food. So you'll see that details in a future video. Um, so yeah, got that. Then in Mexico, I got this guava, guava roll which is a sweet guava candy roll. And I like guava and I've never tried this before, so I am looking forward to that. This was made in Mexico. And last thing from Mexico, I got Poparindio? Poparindo? Poparindo? I think that's how you say that. Um, but it is also, it's a spicy, hot and spicy, tamarind pulp candy and there's three pieces in here so it's made from tamarind as well and I've never tried this so figured I'd pick it up and the prices of the candy in Mexico were really nice they were only $1.95 so that was you know not crazy overpriced I was excited about that okay next thing we got did this melt I think it melted this is from Norway this was in the Norway um, store and it is called a Troika, and it's triple something, but I have no idea what it is. I know it's chocolate, and then I have no idea. It looks kind of like a red velvet cake kind of candy. I am not sure. I am so looking forward to trying this, though. This is really cool. So this is from Norway. Then I got a whole bunch of candies. I think I'm missing one. Yes, I dropped it. Then I got a whole bunch of candies and a little, which was like a wine store. It was like all wine and then there were some candies and some gifts and stuff, um, but in France. So I got one of these um, white chocolate with lemon nugget candies. It's French on one side and then luckily they have the print on the back of what it is in English. And I got two more chocolates. I got the dark chocolate. And I got a milk chocolate with praline nuggets. So looking forward to try all those chocolates because I like chocolate. And I got, what is this little guy? This is a chocolate, but I think it's like a bonbon. I have no idea and I'm weird and I like to try things even though I don't have any idea what it is. But I got this little thing. It's like a chocolate bonbon or something. And then I got two lollipops. This one is strawberry and this one is grape. And I am curious to see how they take, make their candy um, because every country, if you try um, hard candies like Jolly Ranchers or something like that in the U.S., they taste a lot different than hard candies from the U.K. So I'm curious to see if these have like a winey flavor to them, maybe like a wine flavor um, because France is known for that. So we shall see. And they say bonbons. So... I don't know if that's the name for candy in France or if they might have something inside. But again, I will find out in another video. So yay. All right. So the next haul is from, oh, did I miss a bag? No, I didn't miss a bag. Okay. So the next haul is from Japan. Now I spent most of my money in Japan because, well, I love Japan and because I'm going to start off with this, which is the whole reason I was so super excited to go. That's making a lot of noise. So super excited to go to Japan because I finally got my lucky cat and it is solar powered. So you can see her little hand moves and her head moves too, but I'm not sure why it's because it's probably been in the bag for so long. It has no sun. Um, see if I can open it on the bottom here. It's all taped. I need to get my, uh, my little blade. I'll be right back. 
All right, got my blade. So, um, what was I saying before? Let's see if I can get this open. Yeah, they had, um, in Japan, they had a whole bunch. I mean, not just lucky cats. They had owls, they had frogs, they had all kinds of animals um, in the solar. Is this not going to work? In the solar animal thing. They had like a whole stand of them. Ugh, I'm not going to open it that way. i got to open it this way. And it was very difficult for me to figure out which one I wanted because there were so many different kitties and they were all so cute but what sold me on this one was definitely oh my gosh look at this box this is so weird oh it's like how the hell do you get this open okay there we go now it slides off the, the paper there we go okay so there was a whole bunch of different ones, didn't know which one I wanted, but what sold me on this one was the cherry blossoms. You see all the little cherry blossoms and the little bow. I fell in love with this one. She's also like very pearlescent. The other ones were very like shiny, but not pearly. And I just, I love her. She is so cute. So I'm gonna put her in the window and I'm gonna watch her just wobble back and forth. And she's good luck. Yay! I love her. She is so cute. And she's solar powered, so I never have to worry about it stopping because of the batteries are gone. I think that's awesome. Don't you? Do you like that? Do you think it's awesome? Yeah. Do, 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 do. She's so cute. Yay! So this is my favoriteest thing ever. So excited to finally get one. Oh, and then the rest of this bag is full of candy and food. I got a bag of shrimp toast, which looks really weird, but it is shrimp, or they call it prawn crackers. They're like, they're called, they're like a prawn cracker. So very excited. These are really, really good. If you've never had shrimp toast or prawn crackers, they're so good. Then I got a Remune. I got the kiwi flavor. It is basically like a kiwi flavored soda. And it is the most difficult thing you have ever opened in your life because you have to take the plastic off, take this cap off. There's a marble inside, like a glass marble, and you have to push the marble into this section here, and then you can drink from it. Most difficult thing ever, but the soda inside here is so worth it. And I have never had the kiwi flavor. I always get strawberry, I think. Um, and I've never had the kiwi flavor, so I thought I'd try it. And I love kiwis. And look at the faces on the kiwis. Even their soda is adorable. I just, I love Japan. Love it. Okay. Then, for all of you people who want to see me eat the weirdest stuff ever, I picked up this. This is freeze-dried squid. And I'm holding it upside down. This is freeze-dried squid, and I am so excited for this. It's seasoned squid, and yeah, I love squid, and I don't think I have ever tried the freeze-dried squid, so I'm going to give it a try in another video, but I got that, and then I got a whole bunch of little candies, so let me get those out. And a souvenir shot glass from Germany. It's just a plastic shot glass, but it had um, honey bourbon in it, and it was really strong and still kind of smells like it. But yeah, so I got a souvenir shot glass. Yay! All right, so the little candies I got in Japan. Um, first, I got this really long thing. Look at how long this is. Each one of these is a separate bag of candy and they're different flavors. I think it's, um, let's see here, we have, I think that's a guava. Is that a guava? What is that? I don't have any idea what that is. It looks like a cantaloupe, but yeah, so there's that one. There's strawberry, there's lemon, grape, orange, and then it duplicates like it's the same ones over again so I got all of these and they're basically like 
they're almost like sweet tarts, but they melt in your mouth like really fast. So I've had these before and they were delicious. So I got all these. Yay. Lots of candy. All right. And then I've got, I always look at things that I've never tried before and I'm like, what is that? I don't know. Let's get it. And I found this, which it looks like it is grape, well, red grape, green grape, and then green tea flavored. I have no idea. And it looks like they disconnect. It's like gummies or something. But it's like, it shows you like disconnecting the grapes from the thing. I have no idea. And then on the back, it has like a picture of a bunny with... I don't know. I think that's a matching game, but yeah, I think that's like a matching game. Like which one is the bunny wearing? Um, but look at the little bears on it. I mean, this packaging is adorable. They do. I mean, all their packaging is adorable. Um, then I got this one. This, I have no idea what this is or what flavor this is. Let's see if it says flavor on the back. It says soda, a whole bunch of Japanese and soda. So I don't know, but it has like a weird little critter on it and footprints. And I thought those look like cat treats. That's what the candy looks like in the bag, those little orange thing. Um, but it looks like cat treats. So I got it. No idea what it is, but we're gonna try it. And then I got these. These are basically like Pop Rocks, if you're familiar with Pop Rocks in the US. Um, but it has popping candy and uh, melty candy so I think it's it's a dual candy but there's this one is uh, soda flavored like cola so soda cola pop coca-cola flavored and then this one is grape they love grape flavor over there grape flavor everything so very cool, super excited about all these candies. Um, if you wanna see me taste test, you check out that video when I put up my Disney haul taste test thing. All right, and then that's everything from Epcot. And the last place we went to was Hollywood Studios. And in Hollywood Studios, I got a few things. And this would conclude my haul when I'm finished with this. I almost bought a $70 stuffed stitch because he was so big. I mean, like, hugging me, he was my waist to my head. You just saw that, didn't you? Um, but I ended up getting this one instead. And this is Stitch, and he is so cute. Look at those ears. He is so adorable. But the best part, he has magnetic feet. So you can put his little feet together and then you can like, oops, fat fingers. And then you can like stick him on something. Isn't he adorable? I needed him. He's so cute. So I have no idea where I'm gonna put him yet. He's like a little koala bear. Look at him, he's so cute. Um, no idea where to put him yet, but wherever I put him, he's going to be looking at me at all times because he is so cute. And look, you can, he's got like troll hair. You can like play with his hair. And you could put it back if you want. But I like it sticking straight up because he's silly. And he's got the cutest ears. I love Stitch. So um, I got him. Then I got three collector's packs of the blind bags. And I got the, these are Disney exclusives. So you can only get these in the park um, or in any of the parks. This is a three figure in this bag, three figures in this bag of... Park Series 6, and there's 18 figures in Series 6 that you can collect, and they are all on the back with a little checklist, which is awesome. Super excited. So I got one of those, and then I got, I had to get these. This is Park Series 12. Park Series 12, each one has three figures in a bag. But this Park Series 12 is the Star Wars series. So you can get all of the figures on the front. They have Yoda Stitch. They have uh, Goofy as Vader. They have Minnie as um, 
Princess Leia and Mickey as uh, Han Solo and I mean there's on the back you can even get regular Star Wars characters but I am really 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 hoping for Yoda Stitch because he is adorable um, and yeah or R2-D2 or they have Mickey as a Jedi they have all different ones in here so I ended up getting two packs of these um, my husband and I felt every single pack in the store trying to feel for Yoda Stitch. So we figured these two bags were our best chance of getting at least one Yoda Stitch. So we picked up two of those. And that is everything that I bought on my Disney haul. Everything. I bought a lot of crap. But I'm super excited because a lot, I think almost every single thing that I bought is like Disney park exclusive like it's really hard to get outside of Disney parks um, so I'm, I'm pretty proud of myself I'm pretty proud of myself so I hope you guys enjoyed this haul video and let me know in the comment section down below what was the fav out of everything that I bought what was your favorite thing like what would you have been looking for specifically um, if you saw something in this video and you were like, oh my God, I have to have that. What are you going to write down in your little notebook so you know when you go to Disney, find that. I want to know. Um, I think out of everything that I found, um, oh God, I love all of it. I really do. I'm really excited. I have no idea what's in the blind bags yet, so I don't know if any of the blind boxes or blind bags are going to have one of my favorite things in it. Um, but I think overall... My biggest find and score was definitely the Peter Pan Vinylmation with the exclusive Tinkerbell because I had no idea that this was out or available. I didn't know there was an exclusive figure that you can only get with this combo pack. And she's adorable, so I think this is my favorite. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Let me know if you want to see more haul videos by liking this video. And if you aren't already and you'd like to be, please subscribe to my channel. I always could use more followers and I have tons of new videos coming up. I never ending. So thank you guys so much for watching and as always, I will see you next time. Bye!